Hello you hardcore boxing fans out there, how you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. I'm off to the gym, then I'm coming back here. Uh, so I'm just going to do a quick video now. Uh, would you have bananas before you go to gym or after? I love them after. So, uh, I'm not sure whose account they're on here. I've got a few messages here from my peers. I'm still waiting for one off Terry. I've got one off Rico. Let's have a look. I think I've sent. I think they're all on Ozzy Smith's account. Shout out to Dave Allen. How are you doing, Dave? Nice to know that you're watching the channel, you and your mate Anthony. Good luck, Anthony, in your next fight. When is your next fight, Anthony? Anthony Tomlinson, you've gone a bit quiet, mate. You've gone very, very quiet. I've just been looking at Steffi Bull's show on here. Got 12 fights on. Uh, 11 of home fighters have got undefeated records. One of them, Kyle Youssef's, fighting a guy that's a shocker. That's shocking. And in his last fight, he fought somebody in Norton 12, but yet he's a 15 and 0 fighter. Steffi, what's happening? What are you doing, man? Let's have a look. I think this is it here. Let me have a listen. This is Dale Nichols. This is Dale Nichols. Listen to this. Everybody's gone pay-per-view mad, haven't they? Not as mad as me. Uh, that were Dale Nichols's raging. Just saw your video on uh, Reeves pulling out. When the first fight happened, that's the first thing that I said, was that if Al Heyman really wants to scop her, Eddie Hearn and Matrew, the thing to do is to pull out Ruiz close to the fight as close as possible because that will be a fight for no belts which what they might do is I guess they can get around all this voluntary stuff because it's a voluntary defence for Ruiz isn't it so then he starts to do his mandatories and he might have to vacate a belt but if anything that's just such a motivated sapper for Joshua that's a kick in the teeth for the zone and you know it's the worst possible outcome for team Joshua because everybody's going to be underwhelmed. The Saudis are going to be pissed off. Joshua might lose some money. Sky are going to be pissed off. Uh, Dazone uh, and Sky won't be happy with the fact anyways that the fight in Saudi Arabia. So imagine them pulling out and this being a sham. And this will be such a uh, custard luck at the end of the year. Joshua fighting against someone like Pulev for no title in Saudi Arabia. 
And then he heard Rudd's bedroom. These gloves were given to me by Steffi Bull for my 46th birthday. Uh, they were Gavin McDonald's. He fought for a he fought for a title fight in them. Cheers, Gav. Brilliant, them aren't they? When you win a world title, Gav, I might sell them on eBay and donate the money to Josh Wales uh, gym. So, because Josh will never get no money fighting you, Gav, because you've no arsehole, have you? <laughs> hey. Uh, so that's Dale's. Oh, I think there's Smiddell's one as well. Just to let you people know that when you swear on a YouTube video, you don't get paid for it. So I'm not gonna get my. Oh. The Andy Ruiz video is on 1,848 views, and it's on 63 pence. <laughs> I'm not gonna get probably about a quid. I've just cost me a quid, Smido. We all that raging, but I think Dale swore as well, didn't he? I don't think Rico did, but he's a bit. Uh, that was Rico Elia at lead underscore right. Rico didn't swear, but he's a marketing guy, isn't he? Smidow's from horse racing world, didn't he? They're always effing and blinding them horse monk people. But uh, I can see. I feel everybody's paying. You know what it is. What's going on now at the moment is it's nothing short of scandalous, isn't it? It is utter. That's what it is at the moment. It's utter bullshit, and I'll have to restrict this to an 18 as well. Otherwise, I get done off YouTube, my business partner. So. I meant to do a video today on all those hidden accounts that we managed to get on the Feats just thing on YouTube. There's 27 hidden accounts that leave abusive messages on me Twitter. Uh, on me, sorry, on me YouTube. There's also some other thing as well on here that I've discovered now that you know I've got my passwords. Uh, it goes into the spam and a comment for review. Now obviously the, re the reviewed comments 
going back two years and you know there were 1812 reviewed comments I didn't think I was that unpopular but after reading about 30 or 40 of them I had to just press the delete thing because obviously I want to reply to everybody but they're put into the review thing because they're swearing when you send a, a message on YouTube now what we have on our features here words I don't want to see are gay porky you gay or porky you an arse licker or a rimmer or a cock sucker or things like that and a lot of them a lot of the comments uh, we've managed to match a lot of the accounts up to a couple of individuals who we definitely know it is because we have people setting traps I've got other two 2,000, 2.3k it says here, but on the thing here, I think it's about 2,000. We're always in front of what you people see on the screen. For example, the Andy Ruiz thing here, he's over 1,800 on mine, but it's 1,600 views on, on your screen, so it's always in front, but 2,291 subscribers are on here. But we're about 30 in front of where it says on the screen. But anyway, to cut a long story short, there's quite a lot of people who, and who sadly are unemployed, who follow the channel. And I ask them if they want to do things for me, or and a lot of them say, yeah, I'll be out, Ross. Some of them come to the show, and I say, look, you can come to the show. I'm a bit like, yeah, no, no. Some tickets there if you put this out for me, but some of them help me, some of them don't. If they want to come to the show, they're more than welcome. You know, I can only invite 10 people to the show. I could sell them tickets, but I don't. Now, and we've set traps for a few people. Um, let's just say, it's nice to know who wants to say awful things about you. Now, if you were in my position, you'd want to know, wouldn't you, if people were sending you pictures of your children sliced up, because that, to me, where I come from, is fighting talk, isn't it? I ain't got a problem with Big Col from uh, London sending me pictures of how much beak he's snort. It looks like good beak where he snorts down there. Oh, Col doesn't mess about. And he can lift some big dumbbells. Go on, Col. And uh, there's nothing like a bloke who can get good beak. But if but he had, big Col hadn't resorted to uh, saying out about my kids. He just wants to come in my house and kick my door down and do me missus up her arse in front of me while I'm knocked out cold on the floor so at least he's honest about it and at least he wants to send me his photograph of his prison jail card so I like that about you big Col. it's these other ones that want to hide behind this they want to, they want to go like that and call themselves Dave Lane I'm going to read them all out for you I'm going to read all these out for you rather than putting uh, let me read them all out to you. Let's have a look. These are all the haters. These people. Some of these have got serious, serious, serious issues. Serious issues. But what can you do? It's social media, isn't it? So we're going to call them out now. They're more than welcome to come to Ponds Ford next week. 7 o'clock, Sheffield, it's opposite train station if you haven't got a car come and see me, and I'll come outside and we'll get at it because that's what I do, we'll get at it if you've got a problem Boom Boom Coil Luscious Brun Robert Digital, Pete Williams, Ronnie W Selwyn Minge Eddie Hearn Clement Italumi GMS 77777 Chris King The Shadows Project Gareth Milk That's a good name that Eduardo De La Hearns Andrew Bullcroft Noah's Cartoon Network Robert Britton Young OG Porky's Old Self Mate Porky's Missing Teeth Not Porky Dave Lane Mark Mellish Otstig YouTube account, Porky Turner, Samba King 7, Stephen Jones, Jenny Timms, Porky You're Dead. <laughs> oh, 
Well, this has been going on two years this now, but I think I've been to York Hall three times in that period. Manchester, Liverpool, uh, Newcastle, from God knows how many in Sheffield. Rotherham. Nobody said a word to me, nobody said a word. So I don't know. What can you do? Uh, but let's have a look what we've got now to talk about for the rest of this video. Another 10 minutes. So that will take it to. I'll take it to quarter five. Uh, Dillian White. In fact, we'll do this on another video because I'm gonna go. I need to go. I need to go get my session done. It's no good doing a session in the morning and not doing one at night. I don't really feel like going. See, this is it. You see, when you're not a gym head. I'm not a gym rat, but I'll stand in a pig if I'm gonna let Spencer fear and bully me on social media or send me a mate, send me an email saying he wants to fight me. We're gonna get at it, Spencer, but you know it's uh, time consuming for me this and of course it's messing with my social life. So peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing. Shout out to Innovation Alloys, okay? Innovation Alloys at Sheffield, AJ. Top man. Top man. And shout out to uh, Josh Whale. Good luck next week, Josh. Uh, good luck, you trained hard this camp. You're a different fighter now, you're a different animal now, you, now you've got proper people behind you. Uh, so, and you'll be fighting for the world title next year, Josh. Alright, so don't you worry about that. We'll not be sending you to France, will we? Alright, peace out.